Welcome to Issue Tracker for Outlook and SharePoint. In this video demonstration, we will explore how to work with trouble tickets in Outlook. Perform search of tickets stored in SharePoint. And have access to all the tickets assigned to you from within Outlook. In the previous video demonstration, we have learned on how to raise trouble tickets and share a point lists from emails and Outlook. The assigned technician will then start working on resolving the ticket within the specified due date. Normally, you would directly open the share a point site in a web browser and edit the ticket list item directly. Another way of doing this is from the comfort of your Outlook. If you select or open the original email from which a ticket was raised previously or from new replies received on the ticket, you will observe that there is this comment and edit ticket button under the issue tracker toolbar. Clicking it would open the ticket information in an editable form in Outlook. You can then easily edit and update the data into the ticket, assign to another technician, or add new comment and attachments directly from Outlook. When you have resolved a trouble ticket, you can mark it complete or closed so that the particular ticket is no longer monitored and tracked by other technicians and managers. Notice here that Issue Tracker automatically notifies the caller about the closure of the ticket via email. Closing of ticket also ensures that no further automated notification are sent to the caller from issue tracker. Likewise, if the caller phones the help desk to inform about the problem resurfacing again and escalate the resolved ticket, you will have to reopen the ticket. In such a situation, you can uncheck the mark as resolved option and update the ticket in a single click. That will trigger a ticket reopening event, and the assigned technician will be notified automatically. Sometimes, you might have emails that are not in continuation to an existing ticket, but may be related in one way or other with a ticket. Typically, such email does not contain any ticket tracking code. In such situation, to relate this email with an existing ticket and share a point, you can use this Add to Existing Ticket option available under the Issue Tracker toolbar. Here, you can choose the particular share a point list to show all the available tickets. And then you can choose the particular ticket to which the selected email from Outlook would be added. This is how the chosen ticket is updated with the contents of the email. Notice that the actual Outlook email item is also added as an attachment in MSG format. What it means is other technicians can just click this attachment link to open the particular email in Outlook in its original state. Now, let us look at the My Tickets panel under My Options menu. With this tool, you can see all the tickets stored on SharePoint lists that are assigned to you. You can select a particular SharePoint list or simply choose all to show all your tickets from all configured SharePoint lists. You can further filter the tickets to be shown by the ticket type such as ongoing or resolved or both. Now, click Show. So, we have found 29 tickets which are assigned to you. When you select a ticket from the list, notice that the buttons on the toolbar becomes active, and based on the state of the ticket, the actions and tasks that can be performed on the ticket are enabled. For instance, with this button, you can reply to the caller. And with this button, you can choose a relevant KB article to embed to the reply. or forward to a third person or stakeholder. 
you can mark the ticket as resolved in a single click to or reopen the ticket. You can also open the ticket in an editable format directly in Outlook. You can then feed additional information, add new comment, or set due date, or assign a technician, and update the ticket instantly from the comfort of your Outlook. Now, let us explore how you can use the search panel to show only those tickets that meet certain keywords or filters. As you can see here, the search utility offers you with a lot of filter options. The first step in performing a search is to choose one of the share a point ticket list. If you are not sure, you can just select the all option to search all administrator configured share a point ticket lists. The next step is to choose the filter to be used as the criteria for the search. The first and the most common searches by specifying keywords. If a caller is on the phone, you can retrieve all the tickets allotted to the caller by searching using the caller information such as email, phone number or company name. If the caller quotes you a ticket number, you can search by that number to quickly retrieve that particular ticket. And then you can open it in the ticket form for detailed view. You can perform search based on various other parameters, such as by technician, by problem category or type by ticket status or custom fields. Here you can perform a search of the tickets by specifying a due date from the date picker. Alternatively, you can also search tickets by specifying the start date and the end date. So, with this search functionality in Outlook, no longer you need to navigate to each share a point list in your web browser to search and work on your relevant tickets. This concludes this video demonstration. For more references and customizations, refer to the PDF documentation available under the Help menu.